Nick from Bow River Trout Fitters here. Today we're going to tie a complex twist bugger. Starting with a standard streamer hook, size 6, 4X long, and a medium size brass cone head. Now we're going to wrap on some 0 0.20 gauge lead wire. Make about a quarter inch long barrel. Push that forward to the cone. Now we're going to get on our tying thread. Push it forward to secure that lead, and we're going to head back with our wraps to the bend of the hook. At this point, we're putting on barred marabou that we've wetted down to make it easier to work with and slicked all the fibers back. Tie it on and move forward, wrapping the marabou with tight wraps of thread all the way back up to where your lead wraps start. So with our single marabou fiber, we're going to do the tail about one and a half times the length of the hook shank give it a nice uh, amount of flowing action in the water and we're just going to wrap that back up forwards to our lead wrap. Once we're there, we're going to clip it off tight to the shank and we are ready to head back to the bend of the hook with our tying thread and we're going to put in our crystal flash. You'll take one full strand of crystal flash, fold it in half, fold it in half again, wrap that around your tying thread and then holding it directly up, once it's hooked on, tie that in right on top. Trim it to the length of your tail and you're good to go. Now we're gonna do the body, which consists of a schlappen feather and some of our Palmer chenille. So first we're gonna take a schlappen feather, select a nice uniform width one, strip off the webby fibers at the base, and then using our fingers, orient the fibers from the tip downwards to where the base is. Once we do that, we're going to lay in a piece of Palmer chenille the same length on the outside of the schlappen. And now we're going to tie them in and get ready to twist them together. So now that the feathers are tied in at the tip, we're going to go ahead and grab our Loon Gator Grip Dubbing Spinner with the alligator clip attachment. Clip them together and we'll just spin it clockwise. As we're doing that, we're gonna brush it out a bit and possibly using our bodkin, pull out any trapped fibers. And once everything is oriented nicely, we'll go ahead and wrap or palmer that onto the shank of our hook. And with every wrap, we're gonna grab the material we've already put down and just pull it backwards so none of the fibers are trapped and splayed out at awkward angles. So we're gonna palmer that right up to our cone head. Then we're gonna use some Senyo's laser dub to put the collar on the fly. Instead of wrapping this dub around our thread, we're gonna tease the fibers so they're oriented sort of, you know, together in one direction. And we're gonna lay it right over the hook shank, wrap that in and fold it back on itself. We'll do this on top of the fly and then again on the bottom. That'll give us a nice, bushy, thick, full collar and really uh, you know, keep the profile of our fly nice and tight. Once that's done, you can go ahead and whip finish the fly, apply any head cement if uh, that's your thing, and that's uh, the complex twist bugger. These things are indispensable part of the streamer fisherman's fly box. You can tie them in many sizes. You could go up two sizes to a size two, or you could go all the way down to a size 12. Um, the schlappen gives an incredible lifelike movement in the water. This fly is deadly on the swing or can be stripped. In the smaller sizes, this would make an excellent uh, secondary fly on a streamer rig. Thanks for joining us. Uh, all the materials we use here today are available in store on the web at bowrivertroutfitters.com.